Hi everyone, this is Dolly, Paparazzi Accessories by Dolly. I'm an independent consultant. My number is 92215. And I'm so glad you joined me today to do a training video from a customer perspective on how to pay through PayPal. So the first thing I want you to do is access your browser, your uh, internet browser, and go ahead and type in the URL www.paypal.com. When your customers uh, want to pay with PayPal, a couple of things as a paparazzi independent consultant, be sure that you set up a PayPal account. When you set up your PayPal account, it will link all your transactions to the bank of your choice or where you bank at. Simultaneously, your customers can pay with either their bank card or even with a credit card online. So one of the things you want your customers to do is you can send them to PayPal and they can click on the send button. Now, a couple of things are going to happen. They, if they already have a PayPal account, they can log in or they can sign up. Even if they hit the send button, we're going to click on send. It's going to direct them to either sign up to send money or log in to send money. And since I already have an account, if I sign up to send money, it will ask me for all of my information again. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in to send money. So click on log in to send money. And my email is paparazzi by Dolly at gmail.com. So although I am a paparazzi consultant, your customer, when they log into PayPal, it will have their email address and their password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, remember in the very beginning, I clicked send money. And that's what you want your customers to do. You want them to send money. And this is the most important screen. Um, you want them to click on pay for goods or services. Now, a lot of times my family and friends, which it says, I'm sorry, friends and family, if friends and family, you can send money if they are part of your family and they want to send money to you, they can do that through the friends and family. Either way, the money will be deposited in to your bank account or you can direct your customers to go pay for goods or services. So they will click on pay for goods or services. Now, this is important. They need to know your email address or your mobile phone number or your name. So a lot of times as independent consultants, we have our business name registered for PayPal. We may have our email registered and we may also have our phone, num phone number registered. Whichever one you prefer your customers to use, please let them know. When you log on to PayPal and you pay for your purchases, please use my email. Use the, you know, tell them what email you want them to use. So they're going to type in, let's say the customer is going to pay me. So I'm going to type in paparazzi by Dolly. Did I spell that right? <laughs> by Dolly, yes, at gmail.com. And so once this once they type that in, you're going to have them click the next button. Now, it says you're sending to paparazzi by dolly at gmail.com. This is where the customer can make sure they are sending the money to the right person. That's why it's very important if you uh, do a live show and then you want your customers pay via PayPal that they know exactly the email address that is associated with your PayPal account if you're an independent consultant. So let me say that again. When you set up your PayPal account as an independent consultant, the email address that you use, be sure your customers who want to purchase jewelry from you know the email address that they need to wire the money to or make that purchase or transaction. Again, it could be your email, it could be your phone number, or it could just be your name. And so at this point, the customer, let's say they bought $30 worth of jewelry. So you're just going to click here and type 3000. Now, it says US dollars. There's also an option um, if they pay in different money, but you know that's probably if you are overseas or in a different country. So we'll just keep it U.S. dollars. They can add a note, thank you, 
Um, you may ask your customers uh, when you pay, uh, leave me a note or drop me a note or like it a share for a free piece of jewelry or, or, you know, to be entered for a free piece of jewelry or you can do all kinds of things or they may just say thank you. That's what I like to do whenever I buy something. So um, now I kind of briefly showed you that's my personal um, mailing address, but from the customer's view, it will have their, um, their mailing address. So you as a consultant will know where that payment is coming from. And so I'm going to see if it will let me continue. Okay. Now, of course, it's going to say you can't send money to yourself. Do you want to send it to someone else? Because I'm doing a training video, it will not allow me, and I'm logged in as myself, to send money to myself. But from the customer's uh, point of view, once you put in the amount of money and you hit next, it's going to prompt your customers to enter either their Visa or MasterCard debit card, bank card, or um, if they have a PayPal um, uh, gift card, if they have a credit card, it will ask them to enter um, the number of their credit, the, the numbers associated with their credit card expiration date, and then their three digit code on the back. And then it will verify that information and then it will hit send and then it will tell you to send. And then from an independent consultant's um, perspective, you will get an email that is associated with your PayPal account telling you that you have money in your PayPal account. And you can look to verify that the money in the transaction um, went through before you actually mail out their merchandise. PayPal will also allow you to set up an invoice and I will do that in another training video. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked it or if I need to change something, I'm welcome to feedback and a share and I hope this helped you. And again, if you're interested in being a part of my team, come see me at my website. I'll put it in the link below, www.paparazziaccessories.com forward slant Dolly, have a good day.